Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how to use the vocoder inside Rumble. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we initialized a new project inside Rumble. We click on the plus sign, we go on the processor, and at the very bottom you find this new addition, Way Vocoder. Now, on itself, it will not work because it needs a source input, which in this case is coming from the track, okay? But it also need um, to be driven from a waveform perspective, okay? For the processing, of course, of the vocoder. So, now, you could add under generator the wave table oscillator, like so but you will not be able to connect the directory. Indeed, what you have to do is to remove the wave vocoder, click in here, plus sign, and then go under the process and choose at that point the wave vocoder. And in this case, you can see it has been added now. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to connect it to an audio entry. So at the moment, this audio is or input, no entry. So the input is coming from this track. So you click on here, you go to audio from external input number one. Okay. And that will do. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. Now, um, let's go here in terms of the waveform. Scroll down and you find a number that you can select. So let's select these uh, vocoder 80s and let's click down. Okay, now let's add some note, like for example, a going up a scale like that, right? Now let's click play and uh, talk a little bit. Hello, hello, one, two, three. Hello, so let's adjust the amplitude. Hello, one, two, three. Hello. Yeah, you can adjust the mix, the smoothness as well and the shape. Hello, 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 and also this movement is hello, one, two, three, hello, one, two, three, hello, one. And another way to do that, of course, is to, uh, for example, add an audio input. So you could say under a miscellaneous utility, you scroll right to the top and you can add an audio input there, okay, which will achieve exactly uh, the same thing. And here you change that uh, to external input number one. Okay, now let's make it easier for ourselves and let's record something. So let's uh, uh, insert uh, a flexi sampler. Let's click on the recording. Let's click on record and record something. One, two, three, four. As you see, it's not connected properly. So let's move it uh, after the um, audio input and let's try again. One, two, three, four and stop. Okay, so we have now recorded that. So let's exit recording mode. We adjust the offset, the loop start and also the loop end. Either. Perfect. We have the triggers transport, so we'll, uh, uh, so it will not be the trigger based on the keys and uh, all the notes which are already recorded, and we'll have it in loop mode. So let's try. Let's click play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And look at what happens when you adjust uh, um, the shape. You can get thinner or a little bit with a more body. And you can change also this movement and be careful when it is the maximum. It, you create probably not the desired effect. The same on the mixing. Of course, if you have down to minimum, you will start to hear that waveform, which is there. Okay. And then, of course, be careful the amplitude as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one
Okay, I'm going to stop there. Hopefully you enjoy the tutorial. Now you know how to use the vocoder inside Drumbo. Okay, see you next time. Bye.